Hey guys, Jared Wagner here from Focus Group Florida, Keller Williams Realty. Focus Homes, your custom home builder, and Focus Remodels when you love where you live and you want to make it better. All right, it's real estate roundup time. Let's see what's happening in Lakeland and Polk County, Central Florida. Central Florida home sales soar up 154% in Polk County. Days on the market drop to 40 days. And list price reductions jump 249%. Let's dig into the details. This past week, the average home sold was a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home that stays steady. The average size of the home went down by 87 square feet to 1779 square feet on average. The days on the market dropped by three from 43 days to 40 days on the market, so just under that six-week mark. The sold price to list price stayed at 97%. And let me just go back to the days on the market in... On the week of September 30th, that was at 52 days. So almost two weeks has been reduced to that since the end of uh, September. So we'll keep an eye on that. The average list price per square foot went up by $2 to $197 per square foot. The average sold price per square foot went up by $1 to $190 per square foot. The average list price uh, went down by $4,000 to $350,000. And the average sold price went down by $5,000 to $340,000. For this particular week, the year-over-year -year pricing dropped by 4.57%. Uh, and if with the last four weeks, it dropped by 3.9%. So we'll keep a look at pricing as time goes on. If we look at our listings for this past week, it was a lot better, as you can imagine. The week before was affected by Hurricane Milton. So this week we had 35 uh, more listings than last week, 19 more sold than last week, and 18 more new pending from last week. And that's all the, uh, the uh, Lakeland numbers. And we added 122% of new listings uh, compared to the new pendings. So more listings were put on the market than pendings removed from the market. And if we look at uh, for Polk County, the new pending shot up 154% from 119 new pending contracts last week to 302 this week. 302 is still about 100 less than we need for the county. So we're still not absorbing as fast as we need to. That means there's pent up demand out there, which will be future sales. The canceled listings uh, went up slightly. The withdrawn listings stay the same and the expired listings went down. So not a whole lot of movement there. In Lakeland specifically, we only have 3.85 months of supply, six months of equilibrium. So we're still definitely in a, a seller's market. We have only 64% of the homes we need, and we have a 36% shortage. That means for every 64 homes available, there are 100 buyers. The active listings only changed slightly, up nine this week. So there's 1,045 active listings as of this report. And the price uh, drops for Lakeland went up 249%, which is a pretty large number. So last week, only 41 listings out of 1,000 or so had a price decrease. This week, that number jumped to 143, uh, 143 units. And for the county, it jumped even larger from 289 listings that a price decrease to 669 this week. We're only a few weeks from the election, so we're hoping that once that decision is made, whatever it may be, people will be able to make their financial decisions knowing the policies or anticipating the policies that will be in for the next presidency. And that makes people a lot more comfortable. It's just the, the uncertainty that is the challenge. Uh, the betting markets certainly have changed over the past few weeks with a very large um, percentage uh, betting on Trump winning with actual money on the, on the betting things. But we'll see how it actually goes. Once that's done, we'll see. Please check out our blog. Interest rates have not done what we were hoping to do. They've actually gone up. So I've got a couple posts on there, one with an economist that talks about it, and another one just from one of my lenders that showed what the current rates were by the different loan program. Go see how that is affecting your monthly payments. We're looking forward to our special ice cream open house this weekend. We have a luxury home site in Grasslands Country Club. The homes in the area to be built will be between a million and a million and a half. The lot itself is 360000 If you know somebody who's looking for a luxury home, please let them know about us and check out our blog. Have a super week. Call us for any questions. Bye for now. Bye-bye.